Do you consider yourself to be an organized person? I've been told many times by my family and friends that I'm that person. Truth be told, nothing brings me more satisfaction than completing my tasks and checking them off my list. Good day, honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow 4-H members. To really determine whether or not I'm an organized person, I decided to Google it. According to the Cambridge English Dictionary, quote, an organized person is defined as a person that is able to plan things carefully and keep things tidy, end quote. This definition seems simple enough, so over the next few minutes, I will share a few strategies to determine whether this would apply to me. My weekday tasks are captured in my school planner. Being in grade six, most of the notes are important reminders of upcoming assignments, quizzes, and events. My teachers are helping strengthen this healthy habit of organization. I have found that the school planner was so helpful that I have my very own personal planner to help me organize my days when I'm not in school. I like knowing what is coming up in my schedule and how to plan for events. I've seen many to-do lists. They typically capture event tasks to be completed for that day so that they don't forget the important activities. My dad is known to have several of these to-do lists going all at the same time. He's not the only one in my family that uses this technique. I've been told that my granny was also a to-do list lady. I believe that anybody can start organizing themselves using to-do lists. And you don't have to worry if the spelling is quite right, as long as you get your jobs done. For longer term goals, like passing my babysitting course, and driving the lawn tractor, I put these items on my bulletin board. Keeping my goals in mind helped me to accomplish them. I do use a combination of methods to stay organized, borrowing techniques from those closest to me. Maybe in the future, I will move toward the trend of digital platforms to keep me organized as there are so many apps that I would like to explore. The second part of defining an organized person is keeping things tidy so you can find what you need quickly. Having a tidy area helps me to avoid distractions and to collect my thoughts. I typically keep my planners and notepads organized in my desk. Also, I have containers for my pens and pencils to be found easily. If I've been working at my desk for a while, it can get a little out of control. So taking the time to rearrange or, or reorganize my things can present a refreshing look. I rearrange my room on occasion for the same reason as it makes me feel more accomplished and helps me declutter my space. After reflecting on the definition of an organized person, I believe that I am that person. I love accomplishing my tasks in an effective and efficient manner. The most important thing I had on my to-do list for today was to share my speech with you. Check!